Welcome, blue collar family. To the afternoon question and an answer session. What is the solution of life? 42. Don't listen to Bryson. How is everybody doing today here on this Facebook Live event? Well, today... you something. Has your life, how's your life doing? Is it doing okay? Or has it recently been falling apart? How you've been doing, doing the past couple months of this, quarant of, of this quarantine? Hello, Mr. Decker. How are you? Anyway, how's your life been doing? I've been thinking a lot about the Savior and His atonement for us. Oh, He's just beautiful. Lately. And, um,. How he died, and I, I want to stress this very carefully to those of you who are listening or who, or who may be watching, is um, he died for everybody. Every one of the human race. Both member, non-member alike. The sinful and the sinless. If there is such a thing. The righteous and the heathen. He died for everybody. He didn't just die for the Mormons. He didn't just die for the righteous. He died for everybody. Now... There's a scripture that, say, that says that he stands at the door. What he's talking about is, is he's standing at the door to our hearts. He's standing at the door waiting for us to let him in. And... Just to be honest with you, that's not all to let him in, especially knowing what I've done hasn't always been the easiest for me. So I understand that that not letting him in or not trusting him may be a bit hard for you, but... I want to stress this one part. You should do your best to trust him, to believe his invitation when he says, Come unto me, all ye that bur are burdened and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. That doesn't just mean. That doesn't just mean. Come unto him when it's good for you. Come unto him always. And what he'll do is he'll ease up your burdens.
He'll help you get to a point to where you can repent. And if you are a member who hasn't gone in a while, he'll get you to a point to where you can come back to activity. Because, I'll be honest, what you're going through in your life right now, you can bless, you can teach somebody who's going through a similar issue. Whether you realize it or not. There's always somebody along the line going through the same issue. Or a similar issue that you can help with. And it's our job as followers of Christ to lift each other up, to bear one another's burdens, to see that everybody's burdens is lighter than what they should be. And another thing, trust him. And I and I know and understand that's easy for you to not trust him. For whatever reason, I understand. I've been there. But you should do your best to trust him. Start and I and may I make a suggestion. Start with baby steps. Start with baby steps. Trust him. What he says about love. And he says, Those who love like me shall have everlasting life. Those who love like me shall bless, shall be a blessing to other people. He, he's taught that. Christ-like love lifts all. Christ-like love sir, can soften the coldest heart. So here's my challenge. You. Recently, I told you about a little scripture challenge I've undertaken myself. And here's what I've been doing. Is I've been reading one chapter a day. And I've been taking notes on it. And I've been applying those teachings I've been reading to my life. And my life... If you guys have been following me, I, I suffer from depression, a bunch of other stuff. Um, but my life has gotten a lot more emotionally more stable. So here's my challenge for you guys. It's a scripture challenge. One chapter a day. Take notes in what you read. Number two, that's take notes. Number three, here's the kicker. Apply what you read to your life. Because we are sent here to learn. We are sent here to be better. We were sent here to gain strength. And we can't do that unless... We know how, and we can't know how unless we read from the scriptures or listen to the prophets. So, I issue this challenge to you guys. Read from your scriptures, one chapter a day, take notes on it, and then apply those notes and what you've learned to your life. Do that for 30 days. 
and, and then s see how your life has changed. And may I add one more thing. Come back here to this page in 30 days from now and post a video about your progress. So there you go. The issue has been challenged. Been, been laid down. I challenge each and every one of you guys who, who will watch this to read the scriptures. One. One chapter a day. That's, that's all I'm asking. Two. Take notes while you're reading about what verses stand out to you. Number three. Apply what you learned in that chapter to your life. And then in 30 days, come back and post a video here on this page showing, telling how much your life has changed. I believe you guys can do this. I know you guys can do this. I challenge you guys to start now. Hope all is well. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.